guys, welcome back to Yoga with Cass. My name is Cassandra and I'll be guiding you through this practice today. What we are working on is a splits tutorial. So I'll take you through lots of different hip stretches to get further into your splits practice and then I'll actually give you a few variations to get into your splits. Half split, full split, and then some binds within your actual split if you can get there. If not, no worries. We're just working towards it and I'm giving you all the tools to get there. So grab two blocks and let's get on our mat and start this class. All right, so we'll start off with our two blocks at the front of the mat on height level two, so just like I have them, and let's make our way into a tabletop shape. So hands are going to come right underneath your shoulders, knees are going to be underneath your hips. On your next inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, lift the chin, come into your cow pose. On your exhale, round the spine the opposite way, come into cat pose, puff the upper back towards the ceiling. Again, inhale for cow. And then exhale, round it back for cat. And come back to a neutral spine. From here, let's extend our right leg back. This is your inhale. On your exhale, round knee to nose, puff your upper back here. Really press the ground away, maybe even coming up onto the fingertips just so you have a little more space. And then step that foot through. So you're going to bend deeper into that front knee, make sure your knee stays over the ankle, and we're going to lift our way up into a low lunge to begin. So we're not going into our fullest expression of our lunge yet, I want you to dial it back, and then hands are going to come onto your front thigh. Make sure that back hip is over your left knee. We'll take a few cat and cows here, just getting into our hip flexor. Inhale, belly forward, chest forward, chin lifts. You can stick the glutes out slightly. And then exhale, contract, belly into the spine, and try to press your left hip a little further forward. You should feel this all down your left quadricep. Hold for three, two, one. We'll do that one more time. Inhale for your cow pose, puff the chest forward, stick the glutes out. On your exhale, contract, navel to spine, shoulders roll forward, tailbone presses forward. Hold three, two, one, inhale, come back to a neutral spine. From here on your exhale, lean forward, grab your blocks. You might need to tiptoe your right foot a little further forward and then sink deeper into your right knee now. So we're in our full expression of that low lunge. Use your blocks to help keep you lifted and try to pull your right hip back, left hip forward. Take a few breaths here. Each inhale, you're lifting. Each exhale, slowly getting further into the pose. And now on your next exhale, we're slowly going to send our hips back and begin to straighten out your right leg. You may even need to walk those blocks back. Just make sure the hands or blocks are underneath your shoulders and then flex those right toes back blocks. So really activating the bottom or underneath of our leg, stretching through the calf and hamstrings here. If you need to keep a soft bend in the knee, you could also do so. We'll hold for three, two, one. Now let's move dynamically. Inhale, walk your blocks forward, bend into your front knee. Low lunge. On your exhale, walk it back, half split, flex the toes. Again, inhale forward, lift your chest, exhale, walk it back. One more time here, inhale, and exhale, walk it back. Now from here, you can hold your half split. If you do want to try and take this into your full split today, I'll take you there slowly. So keep your hands firmly pressed on the blocks. You're going to tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee off of the ground. So we're trying to fully straighten that leg. Maybe you're even walking those blocks forward. And then try to slide your right heel forward. So any amount here, you don't have to go into the full variation of the split. Do what you need and take what you want from this video. If you can go further, fully slide down and keep wiggling your left foot a little further back. You can untuck the toes. If you're somewhere in between, using the weight of your body to help drop down further. So if you're folded over this way, you won't really get as far, but if you are staying upright, the weight of your torso will drop you down eventually. 
All right, so for my yogis that are in the full splits, I'll give you one more option here. You can remove the blocks for a second. You're gonna slowly plant your right hand down and then begin to bend into your back knee. We're gonna open up our left hand towards the back, trying to catch that foot, and then kick your heel closer towards your sit bone. This might be where you stay if you want to try and take this a little bit deeper today and you have the range of motion. You're going to bend your back knee in further, bring your foot to the crease of your elbow, left hand is going to face up. Again, this might be where you stay. If you want to go for mermaid, right hand is going to reach up and catch on to your left fingers. Try to turn your torso forward. We're here for three, two, three. One, release the grip of your hands, slowly unwind, grab your blocks again, and we're going to reverse this whole thing. Hands press into the blocks, lift your hips up, tuck your left toes under, and slide it back. Make sure that foot is planted. You're going to drop your left knee, and then come back into that half split. Just reset for a moment. Inhale. Exhale. And then from here, bend back into your right knee. Walk it forward into that low lunge position. Take a moment. And then slowly shift your hips back. We're not going into half split this time. Just slide your right foot back to meet your left knee. Hands can come back onto the ground. And then we'll switch sides here, taking a few cat and cows. Inhale. Exhale to round. Again, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, back to cat. Inhale, neutral spine. Now from here, you're going to extend your left leg back this time, keeping the leg at hip height, toes are flexed down. On your next exhale, contract, bring your knee towards your nose, round the upper back. If you need more space, come up onto the fingertips, and then you're going to step your left foot forward and through. Once you're ready, inhale, sweep it up to your low lunge. Nice. Make sure that front knee is right over the ankle and you're pulling left hip back, right hip forward. So I'm not open to the side. My hips are facing the front of my mat. From here, we'll interlace our hands on the front leg. Make sure the right hip is stacked over the right knee as well. On your next inhale, cat and cow here, belly forward, chest forward, chin lifts, tailbone out. On your exhale, contract the navel to spine, shoulders round forward, tailbone tucks under. Now we're feeling the stretch all in the front of that right hip flexor, getting into our quadricep muscles. Again, inhale, come through your cow pose, open up. On your exhale, round it back to cat, pull the belly towards your spine, shoulders forward, hold three, two, one, inhale back to a neutral spine, release your grip, and then exhale, hands onto the blocks. You can wiggle those left toes further forward and then sink into your front knee. Blocks are going to come right underneath your shoulders, so we're not leaning too far forward or too far back. They're right underneath, stacking our joints. And we'll hang out here for a little longer, opening our right hip flexor now. So very important to open that right hip flexor, especially getting into our splits. You need the range of motion in the right hip along with your left hamstring and calf. We'll hold for another breath. Inhale. Exhale, try to sink further down. And then on your next exhale, we're going to slowly guide our hips back. Begin to straighten out your left leg any amount. Walk the blocks back underneath your shoulders and then flex the left toes back towards your face. Really feeling this through the calf and the hamstring of the left leg. We'll hold a little longer. And now starting to move dynamically. Inhale, walk your way forward into that low lunge. On your exhale, shift it back, half split. Moving at your own pace here, we'll go two more times. Inhale forward, try to go a little further. Keep the torso lifted. Exhale, walk it back. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Now this time we hold our half split. Again, you're more than welcome to stay right here if this is enough for you. If you do want to try floating the back knee, begin to tuck your toes under and lift the back knee up. 
You might need to walk those blocks forward. You can stay here. If you do want to go further, start to slide your left heel forward, maybe even creeping those right toes back as you lower. Make sure the hands are right underneath the shoulders, just so the weight of your body goes down further again. If we're here, it's not really going to work out too much. Keep your torso lifted and the weight of your body will drop you further down. If you are going flat, go ahead, untuck the toes, and then you can remove the block if you are fully flat. If not, just stay where you are. I'm going to give you one more option. Left hand is going to plant. Right hand reaches back this time. It might be different on this side. Don't force it. See if you can bend that back knee in. Bring your foot closer towards you. And if you can, try and get your foot inside the elbow crease. Palm faces up. And then that left arm goes all the way up and around to catch onto for mermaid pose. Try to square your hips off to the front. We're here for three, two, one. Slowly release the grip of your hands. Carefully unwind this. Hands are going to come back to the floor or your blocks, whatever you're most comfortable with. On your next inhale, press your hands down, lift yourself up, and then slide it back. You can keep that back knee grounded. Bend into your front knee and just hold here for a moment. And then from here, send your hips back once more, but this time we're going to slide our left foot back. And release the left knee down to meet the right and we'll sit back awesome so that is your split tutorial for today if you do have any questions please let me know below in the comments thank you so much for joining and i will see you next time namaste mm -hmm.